Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll take a look at the use cases that customers can solve using Google Cloud. My name is Kyle Olive, and I'm a product manager here at Google Cloud. Today, we'll take a look at one of the most common questions we hear from customers. How can I make sure my Google Cloud deployment meets the Center for Internet Security's Google Cloud Security Benchmarks? The CIS Google Cloud Benchmarks are a set of recommendations drafted by the CIS community and contributed to by Google that are intended to serve as a guide to securing your Google Cloud environment. It covers several Google Cloud services and tools spanning from IAM to compute to storage and many more services. While the benchmark includes instructions for manually checking for and remediating issues against these recommendations, tracking to make sure your entire deployment continues to meet these benchmarks is a significant and ongoing challenge. Security Health Analytics and Security Command Center reduces the burden on your security teams by automating these detections and surfacing findings in easy to use ways, while providing context specific remediation instructions that can quickly help you resolve any issues that do occur. Security health analytics can also help you meet your continuous compliance goals by monitoring for violations against a wide variety of compliance controls and surfacing reports against those violations. Let's take a look at how you can get set up with security health analytics and get a handle on how your organization is doing against the CIS benchmarks for Google Cloud. Before you can get started, ensure your organization has enabled Security Command Center. For more information, check out the Security Command Center Quick Start documentation available online. Setting up Security Command Center is fast and easy. First, you'll select your tier. For full comprehensive monitoring against the CIS benchmark, as well as additional monitoring against compliance standards like PCI DSS, ISA 27001, and NIST 853, you're gonna to need to have access to the Security Command Center Premium tier. But several of the most impactful recommendations from CIS are also available to all Google Cloud customers completely free of charge as part of the standard tier. Once you've selected your tier, ensure you enable Security Health Analytics. At this point, if it's available to you, you can also enable the other premium services as part of Security Command Center. This includes Web Security Scanner, for automatically detecting vulnerabilities in your exposed web applications, event threat detection for detecting threats against your Google Cloud resources via your logs, and container threat detection, which can detect threats against your GKE workloads. Next, you'll select which parts of your organizations you want detections to run. Since you can always filter and sort findings after they've been generated by anything you want, like folder or hierarchy, we generally recommend that you leave Security Health Analytics enabled for your whole organization so you don't miss anything. Finally, you'll need to grant the Security Command Center Service account the appropriate permissions to monitor your resources for misconfigurations and vulnerabilities. Once you've completed setting up Security Command Center, the first pass of these detections will run, and this first pass may take up to 24 hours to complete. For now, let's jump to an organization with a bunch of security findings and find out how I'm doing against CIS. I can go straight to the compliance dashboard to see my current score against the CIS Google Cloud benchmarks. This dashboard gives me a great at a glance view of my compliance monitoring findings, including a score for CIS. This will give me a good idea of how I'm doing overall against the controls that matter to me, as well as giving me a way to assess how much my organization is improving its security posture over time. Here I can see how many of the CIS Google Cloud controls are being monitored as well as how many controls have violations, broken out by level one and level two controls, just like the benchmark. There's a lot of data here since my organization has a lot of projects, but the compliance dashboard allows me to narrow down the report to a specific set of folders or projects that I care about. Now I can see this particular folder, which could be a stand-in for a prod or a dev or test folder, score against the CIS Google Cloud Platform Foundation benchmarks. At this point, I could do a couple of things. I could either export this information out as a CSV file to document my current state, or I can continue working in Security Command Center uh, to find out more about these issues and how to fix them. On the Export tab, I can set the type of report I want, as well as it filters around the time for the report and the projects and folders that are included in the report. When I export the report, a CSV file would automatically be downloaded. This CSV file contains a lot of extra useful information, like the set of projects with violations against controls in the scope of the report, 
as well as a mapping of every finding category and the appropriate CIS control, as well as a number of failing resources that map to that control. But if I want to work on my findings directly in Security Command Center, I can also pivot to the Vulnerabilities tab. Here, I can see all of the open findings detected as part of the report from the previous dashboard. I can also manipulate this dashboard to sort and search by benchmark or control number, sort and search by severity, or by active count. In this case, I'll look for the highest severity findings that are still open. Once I've decided what I want to work on, I can pivot from here to the Findings tab. From here, I can open up a finding and I can review all of the information I need to act on this finding, including the affected resources, the impact of the finding, and the remediation steps context-specific for this resource. If I wanted to, I could fix this immediately by clicking on this button and following the instructions, or I could copy these remediation steps and assign a ticket to the owner. Once the issue is fixed, the finding in Security Command Center will automatically go away. My compliance score will have improved. Using Security Command Center and Security Health Analytics, you can continue to detect, understand, and resolve violations against the CIS benchmarks, improving your overall security rating and keeping your workload secure on Google Cloud. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.